Hey everyone, Dante here from The Raging Geek, and today I have various die-cast metal The Batman collector's cars. I have two from Hot Wheels, and I have one from Jada Toys. We're going to open these up, we're going to compare them, we're going to see how close to the movie likeness these cars are, some subtle differences between the cars. Let's take a look. The smaller Hot Wheels cars from the Hot Wheels character cars series, the larger one from the Batman film line series and we have the small scale from Jada Toys. Let's open these up. Let's take a closer look. This is the Batman die cast metal collector's cars. So let me start by saying just saw the Batman movie with Robert Pattinson as Batman. A very long movie but a very entertaining movie. Definitely not your I want to say typical superhero movie. You know, you're not looking at any special superpowers or like larger than life action. Very realistic. You know, the Batman being only human has his limitations and it shows in the movie, you know, he gets knocked out a couple more, you know, at least twice in the movie. You know, almost gets unmasked once. Definitely very vulnerable, the Batman, but also able to strike fear into the hearts of uh, criminals. Kicks ass, you know, does a lot of butt kicking. You know, when I saw the movie, Robert Pattinson, you know, not taking any anything away from his performance, not the largest or most, I want to say, large in stature uh, Batman. You know, definitely a very slender Batman. He definitely relies a lot on his his body armor he got shot quite a bit in the movie and you know I'd, I'd say the body armor saved him more than a few times this Batman definitely relying on the tools um, that he has available to him you know has some fighting skills but back to the figures we have these smaller Hot Wheels character cars Batman here you know the character cars line has a has a few different cars you can see from the box you know even Selena Kyle has a car, you know, the Riddler has a car, where in the movies they really had no, you know, vehicle that was specific to them. The actual Batmobile from this smaller, uh, more traditional size Hot Wheel, not the same likeness as the one in the movie, so they took some creative liberties with this car. You know, still a nice looking car, nice looking Hot Wheel, but, um, you know, if you're looking for something, uh, you know, exactly specific to the movie, uh, yeah, this isn't the car, but definitely a nice looking car. Now the Hot Wheels Batman movie line car, definitely identical to the movie. You know, this car was made to mirror what was actually driven in the movie. You know, you could see the back here, the engine. You know, definitely my favorite scene from the movie was the one where they first showed the Batmobile and they were kind of doing the, the bust of um, the Penguin's drug uh, factory. And he starts revving up the engine and everyone's like, what is going on? You know, the Batmobile, this engine starts revving up and it starts blowing fire out of it. And, uh, you know, it's pretty much a jet engine in the back of this thing you know the thing was just muting out the gunshots that's how loud it was and i think you know that you know i think when batman started it up to kind of stop the gunfire you know that's definitely what he had it you know in his mind that when i turn this engine on you know people are going to stop in their tracks and definitely one of the better scenes in the movie and then he chases down the penguin and uh but yeah great likeness to the batmobile you know the smaller one you know, you're looking at uh, at Target. I want to say a $3.99 price range. I believe this one goes for $5.99. So for the smaller Hot Wheels cars, there's definitely a number of variants out there that have a more movie likeness. You can check on eBay or Amazon. They'll cost a premium, but they're out there if you want this scale. I'm just showing you the ones that I have. Yeah, for this scale, there are options out there to get a movie like this like this larger scale one now for the jada toys this is a 132 scale this does have a great likeness the doors open from my experience you know these jada toys they i believe the 132 scales go for 9.99 a piece so for this batman in particular the price range is so broad 
I mean, I've seen them go for anywhere from $20 plus shipping to like $110, which, I, you know, I'm, I'm not quite sure what some people are thinking when they're selling these uh, for such high prices. I think they're kind of betting on the supply out there to, I guess, dry up to the point where that people have no other options but to buy them for that, that sort of premium price. I have to say... The Hot Wheels card definitely has a lot of detailing that the Jada Toys card doesn't. Um, you know, specifically paint and chrome detailing. It also has the deeper black and higher gloss finish. Though I'm not entirely sure, you know, from the movie being it was so dark, you know, if it actually had that shiny a finish. But definitely some detailing here on the Hot Wheels car that's not present on the Jada Toys car. The Jada Toys car, though having a it looks like an inner roll cage you know in case the the car were to flip you know kind of like a a stock car the doors do open uh and, and overall you know it's got a great likeness you know i have to say the jaded toys car is probably uh, a bit better on sketch detail um you know minus some of the paint trimmings that the hot wheels car has and i'd have to say you know if I, if i had a bet on which one was actually more true to likeness um, i'd say the jada toys one was but like i said the hot wheels car does have some extra paint detailing um which i don't know if they just took some creative liberties or not you know on the front hood here there's some red trimmings here that uh you know the Jada Toys one doesn't have and on the back you have some chrome accent chrome accents that the Jada Toys doesn't have and uh, you know you also get the Batman figure though not a I want to say accurate likeness I would say the actual suit of the Batman in the movie was black as well and not this light gray the uh, the bat emblem looks similar though, but you know the uh, the Jada Toys figurines are, are very crude to begin with. So hey, you could always touch it up if you really wanted to. So I guess my favorite out of the bunch, um, yeah, you know of course the Jada Toys. Um, second would be the Hot Wheels Batman movie line series, and uh, you know finally the DC character car series. You know, if you can find this particular car right here, I would say get it. You know, this is a nice car too, kind of on the small side. These really small. You know, if you're a Hot Wheels collector, sure, get it. You know, it's not a bad car. Uh, I mean, if you really like the movie, you know, this is probably not the car for you. Um, so, I, you know, I would kind of, you know, unless you're a, a diehard Hot Wheels collector, you know, this is not really a true to likeness of the, of the movie. So, you know, I would pass on this one. You know, this particular car here, nice. You know, like I said, I think they took some creative liberties, though, you know, with the paint detailing and the uh, the high gloss, the high gloss paint finish. Um, you know, I feel like the, uh, the actual Batmobile in the movie was more of a matte finish. So, yeah, I would, you know, I would put this on the side here. If you can find the Jada Toys one, get it. You know, it's a $9.99 price tag. So this Batmobile, 132 scale, 5 inches long, about 2.5 inches wide. You know, you know, interestingly enough, I'd say this one about a half an inch wider than the other Jada Toys Batmobiles that I reviewed. So something to think about, you know, if you have the other Batmobiles and you're kind of displaying them together. Yeah, this one's a... This one's pretty wide. So these were the Batman die-cast metal Batmobiles. Uh, we have the two from Hot Wheels and the one from Jada Toys. All of these particular Batmobiles I got off the shelf at Target. Uh, descending order, $9.99, $5.99, and $3.99. And uh, these Batmobiles available at other retailers. Walmart and uh, online retailers Amazon and eBay if you can't find them at your brick and mortar stores. This was the Raging Geek coming again soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. What do you mean? What did you do? What did you do? Come back and watch more videos. Raging Geek. Retro.
intro. All things geek. We're geeks and be geeks. Raging geek. Retro. All things geek. We're geeks and be geeks.